Hello gardeners. Uh, we've been getting several questions about where you followers can get these uh, bows, these uh, arch tie tunnels. Uh, some people want just maybe the bows to put a shade cloth over. Some people want a high tunnel and garden in this winter. They're, they're kind of excited about gardening in these self wicking tubs. And now they want to go ahead and garden into the winter time to grow their uh, extend their season with stuff like these peppers and everything and uh, I just wanted to kind of show you while we're in here about these peppers these are pimentas now, these were put in about a month or a month and a half ago and you can see now there's some of them already starting to turn red when a pimenta pepper gets red it's going to be sweet just to show you how these things are loading up I'm going to break off some of these limbs and let you see here there is one two three four five six seven Pimenta peppers are touching right there in that little plant. And it'll just keep growing on and on and on. As, those, as soon as those get red, we will pull them off to eat and then let them make more. But anyway, what we're talking about is the high tunnels here today. And this is a 12 foot wide, 24 foot long. It's about uh, eight feet tall in the center. We think this is one of the best sizes of houses to have for backyard gardeners. Uh, this will hold, if you put three rows in it and not push them together like I have, you put three rows in here, that's good for about 32 buckets. And you can grow a lot of food in 32 buckets. Now, if we went on and built you a 14 foot wide house, which would be two foot wider than this one, in the same length, then we could put four rows in it and get 42 buckets in it. And that will grow, still grow a lot of food. Now, we'll talk about that price of those houses here when we get down to the end of it more. I wanted to kind of show you how this little house, we put a little cross vent in this so that for the summertime you can let it down like this. And then in the wintertime you can pull this rope back up and tie it up and close this vent up for the winter and you're in here ready, already ready to garden. And then you can untie the string in the spring, open it back up and it falls open and now you have a little vent to let this heat out. But this is, this is what you're going to be looking for if you want a backyard high tunnel to grow your food in to keep your wicking buckets protected this winter so you can go ahead and garden right on through the winter. And uh, what we're doing, we're trying to get this information out to you because there's so many of you wanting one of these. If you'll call in to either one of my two numbers, call, best thing is to call the 580-564-2166. And tell one of the girls that you're interested in talking about one of these little high tunnels. And it doesn't make any difference in what state you're in in the United States. We may not be able to cover everybody this fall, but we're going to try to do a good job of it. For instance, like if we can get, you know, six or seven people to buy a house like this from here all the way up into New York, uh, New Hampshire. We got one in New Hampshire wanting one. We got one in New York wanting one. And if there's anybody off up that way, then we'll sell six or seven of those. We'll put a crew on a truck and just send them right up through there and get them put up. Maybe you're in like in El Paso. I got two people in El Paso looking for one. That's 10 hours back to the south or west of us. If you're in between here and there into Texas, New Mexico, down through there, we'll try to get you on that same truckload and come down through there putting them up for you. Or if, we just want to, if you just want us to drop off the kit for you and let you put it up, most people want it put up because there's a little bit of work into putting this thing up. Not too bad, but we can put it up in a day or two and get it ready for you. So if you want to talk about one of these, call one of our numbers anywhere in the United States. We'll try to figure out a route if we can get enough of them on that route. We can't guarantee that we can get to you this summer and fall, but we'll do our best to do what we can do. And uh, I have a question for you. Okay, Jack. <clears throat> if someone wants to put this up themselves. Uh-huh. Can they do that? They can. There's a few. I'll have to give them a little instructions how to do it. But yeah, it can be put up. Uh, especially if you get one of these already on the skid. We call it on a, on a, on a skid where that you just set the skid on the ground, put the bows on it, you anchor the skid down to the ground. And then if you get ready to move it or sell it, you just take your anchors loose. This all comes together back apart by taking the screws out. You can take it apart and move it. But uh, yeah, you're welcome to try it if you want to. And every, everything that they need to put it up, it comes with It all comes with a kit. The screws, the plastic, the wiggle wire track, the wire, 
the clamps, everything comes with this as a kit, except the buckets. Now we're not talking, they can be got bought the buckets too if they want to buy the buckets, but yeah. I'm talking about just the framework and the plastic, and they can even buy a shade cloth to go over it if they want to. You know what we recommend, we recommend putting this up with the plastic on it and using it through the winter and then come spring in May or so, take the plastic off of the top, put your shade cloth on and garden through the summer, come back in October and take that shade off, put your plastic on, and you've got a pretty couple. Now we've left this plastic on this house because we're growing peppers in here. And we, you see all the little cherry tomatoes we're growing in here. I mean, it's, uh, we've had these in here since about uh, in the middle of May, I imagine. But these little sun goals are wonderful little tomatoes. We call them uh, candy berries to the kiddos, and the kiddos just eat them and eat them because it tastes so sweet. But anyway, if you want, if you're talking about, if you're interested in one of these high tunnels, give us a call and let's see what we can do about it. We won't promise that we can get to everybody this fall because we don't know how many is going to call in, but we'll sure try to do the best we can. We'll send out two or three different crews going different ways trying to put these up for you. I wanted to show you some of these other sides of the frames we have. Uh, Cause I mean, not everybody's going to want a 12 by 24 or a 14 by 24. Some people think they want a small house and this is a little eight by 12. It's eight feet long and 12 feet wide. Uh, this little house uh, uh, is half as, no, it's about a third as big as the one we just come out of. But anyway, all these little houses come with a door on each end. Now, this, see, there's another door down here. So anyway, you got two doors. You can open for venting. Now this doesn't have a vent in it, so you know you just probably won't take the shade plastic off in the summer or just maybe open the doors. This is built on a skid. This is what we're talking about here. This right here is called the skid that we build it on. See, this, this house is, is, not, is not anchored down yet. It's just on this frame. And we build all this framework up we, to put the bows in. We put our corner braces on, and this makes a really a stout house. This is not one of them little Mickey Mouse houses you can get off, the, uh, off of the... Uh, website, you know, I mean, on, off of the, uh, uh, what am I talking about on the, on the computer anyway? Harbor Freight. Harbor Freight, well, I don't want to mention any names, but anyway, some of these cheap ones that blow away in the first winds you get, we don't want that. We want a house that'll last you for many, many years. And so the only problem with buying a little house like this, this house is going to be probably half as much as that house that's three times as big that we just come out of. So the smaller the house, the more it costs per square foot. It seems like about up when you get up to that 12 by 24 is when it starts to break it over into a reasonable priced house, okay? But we will sell you whatever size you need. This little house here would hold uh, two, three, four, four, about 12 buckets is all this would really hold and let you be able to get around them. Uh, but there is people that buys this little house. I try to disencourage you to buy this house. I tried to encourage you to buy at least a 12 by 24 or a 14 by 24 because everybody that buys a little house like this, they usually come back to me and said, Leon, why did you let me buy this house? This is too small. I need a house twice or three times this big. So what we do, we come back and take the end off of it, scoot it on out and build them three more, two more sections or three more sections on, make it a little longer, which cost them more money. It would have been cheaper to do it at the first when you buy one all in one kit. But anyway, we'll try to help you any way we can. We're gonna go show you some more sizes of these houses now to give you a little idea of these frameworks. Okay, fellow gardeners, we're over here now to another house. This is, this is the little 14 foot wide I was telling you about. But now this is not 24 foot long, this is only 20. Some of my customers say, well, I don't have room for a 24 foot long, so they want a 20 foot. We'll make you any size house that you want as long as you go every four feet. See, we put these bows every four foot apart. So you can have one that's 12, 16, 20, 24, 28, 32, 36, 40, 44, or 48. Either one of those, it doesn't make any difference. We'll build what you want. This is all built here on the place out of straight pipe. We're fixing to go show you a load that just come in that we're fixing to build a bunch of these houses out of to get them ready to deliver to y'all that wants one of these houses. But this is a little 14 by 20. Got a door on each end, got the braces on the corners, holds it, makes a stout house. It's on a skid where you can move, put this thing and move it around wherever you want to, anchor it down, and you're good to go. You can uh, put plastic on it, 
or if you don't want to garden in the winter time or if you happen to be in a area like in uh, the south of the uh, United States in South Texas and so forth, you may just want to use shade cloth where it doesn't freeze that hard and you can get on through all the year with just a piece of shade cloth. A lot of people are doing that. So we'll help you any way we can to help you go ahead and garden through the winter. But I want you to grow and be, be growing food year round at your place. We just kind of teach you or tell you what you can garden in through the year round. You in the winter time, you go with your lettuce and spinach and, and all kinds of greens, collards and kale. And then in the spring, you start your tomatoes as early as you can, uh, your beets and your corn and your stuff like that. And as it warms up a little bit, you start your summertime, like your peppers, your okra, squash, cucumbers, watermelons, cantaloupes, on like that. And then you get back into the fall, you start back with the winter greens, the lettuce and the spinach, carrots, radishes, green onions, just on and on. And you can be growing something year round. We're going to go to another house and show you a bigger house now. Okay, this is where we brought a load of steel in this last week. We were getting low on steel to build these houses out of, and we know there's going to be a, a lots of people wanting these in the next few months, few weeks, I mean. So we bring it in on a semi-trailer right direct from the factory, get it in as cheap as we can so we can build these as cheap as we can. It's still expensive because this is about 46,000 pounds of steel right here that we build the framework out of, the bows, the posts, the doors, and just on and on. Everything is made out of this right here that you see in one of those frames. So we start here, we bend it, we cut it, we weld it, and we do everything to it to make your house right here on the place. So we're just trying to encourage you to step in and get you one of these high tunnels, get it spoken for, let's see if we can get it to you before fall, and uh, try to get you a place that you can garden this winter. Okay, I've been showing you the different size houses. You know, we showed you the 12 by 24, the 14 by 20. We showed you the 8 by 12. Now then, here we're in a 16 by 48. This is 48 foot long. This is what we call a half a house. Because our standard houses are 96 foot long when you're in the commercial growing. You want a house that's either 96 or 120 or 148 or something like that. Uh, but this is a... 16 by 48 makes a nice little house for uh, uh, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24. About 100 buckets in here, 100 buckets. Uh, you can grow lots of tomatoes in here. You can grow lots of okra, a lot of green beans, or you can grow a lot of, you know, pinto beans or purple hulls, black eyes, just on and on. Now, Usually thing at this time of the year, now we're talking about we're here in July. Usually thing in May, we take this top off of these tomatoes. And that's one reason they burnt down so quick is because we left the top on it. And it's getting so hot in here. It gets above 100, above 100 degrees. And that is too hot for tomatoes. But the reason we didn't take this plastic off this season is because we had rain, rain, rain every two or three days. And that would have been detrimental to these tomato plants, getting all that rain on them. Uh, if it didn't drown them, it would cause so much fungus on them. And so we left the plastic on. We chose to leave it on and battle the heat. Now then, we're going to take them out and not even take the plastic off this year, which is the first time we haven't done this now in about six years. But uh, because we're going to leave the plastic on because we want this okra to get hot. It likes hot, hot, hot weather. And so we'll put okra in here leave the plastic on and let this okra grow. But I just want you to know, this is a different size. This, you know, this is the size as you can get. We'll build you whatever you want. And we're gonna sit down and talk about these prices a little, long, a little later in our video. Okay, we're gonna talk about the price of these little houses we've been showing you on this video now. You know, we showed you a little eight by 12 while ago, and that was a, a eight by 12 is uh, $1,635 cost $400 to get it set up. Now the only thing we can't add in here is the freight and travel to get to you according to how far you're up the road and how many we, houses we're gonna have getting out of the way to you because it costs to run these trucks, it costs to bring these employees with on board. But anyway, for instance, like a eight by 12 is $1,635 plus a $400 setup. That makes it a little over $2,000 plus your freight 
and your travel. Okay, you can take that. Now that's an eight by 12. We can talk about that 12 by 24 where I had the pimento peppers and the cherry tomatoes are growing. Now that house is three times as big as this eight by 12. It's a 12 by 24. Three times as big, but it only costs you $2,243 plus the $900 set it up, which is $3,100. So now then you're getting three times as much house for just about a thousand dollars more it just you know it, it's more feasible to go up and get a little bigger house unless you don't have the room or don't have the uh you know the expense or something then you can go on up to a 14 by 24 which is two foot wider than your regular 12 by 24 and it's only let me see how much difference it is it's only 200 dollars 250 dollars difference from a 12 by 24. We get up to a 12 by 24 if you want to get it on skids, a 14 by 24, it's going to cost you um, $29.84.9, about $3,800. I'm just kind of giving you some examples. Then you're going up to that, uh, we had a 16 by 48 up there, and with the, with the post in the ground, it's going to run you about $3,500. You can go up to a 20 by 48, and uh, let me look here a minute. 41.93 with the tariff versus 53. It's only about $1,200, and you're gonna get one and a half times as many houses, as much house. So it's, the bigger you get, the cheaper it is. If you really wanna get one of these price lists and look it over and study it, just give me a call me on my 580-564 5909 I'll text this back to you on my phone and you can study it and then we can talk more about what you want to buy okay if you like this video we're making here you know ring the bell punch the button and subscribe that lets me know that you're enjoying these and you still want to make more of them and we'll make you some more videos on different things about here about the garden